In PTC Windchill PDM Link, you can perform configuration management to include tracking the as-built configurations of different objects that you produce. Let's take a look at this. Here I am in the product structure of my battle tank. You can see that we've got various different components inside of here. We also have the trace code listed. So for some of these objects, they are untraced, but for other objects, we are tracing them by lot and serial number or serial number or just by lot. And in other videos, we created different part configurations. So for example, we have this part configuration called released a prototype series one. If I go to its information and then its structure tab, we can see for this one, it lists only the serialized objects in this part configuration. Let me go back to one of the other ones. Let's go to prototype series two. And for this one, when we take a look at the structure, it includes not only the objects that have a trace code set to lot or serial number or lot and serial number, it also includes the WT parts for anything that is untraced. Let's go back once more to the configuration management tab of my battle tank. In addition to that, in another video, I created a number of different instances of these different tanks that we ended up producing. Now I want to go and assign which serial numbers or lot numbers of objects were used in these various different instances. And before I do that, I want to show that I've already created some part instances of some of the serialized objects that are in this vehicle. So for example, let's go to the tread. I will right click and view information. And then if I jump over to the configuration management tab, here you can see that I have a part configuration and I have 10 different part instances of the treads that were produced. Let's use the back button and I'll go back to the structure tab. Similarly, if I go to the turret, right click and view information, and then go to the configuration management tab, we have a part configuration of the turret. And in this particular situation, we have four different serialized instances of the tank turret. So I can use these and allocate these to some of the battle tank instances. And one thing I want to point out, this configuration management tab is not available by default. I created this in one of my other different videos and then added these different tables of information like for super session and part configurations and part instances. So that's good. Let's hit the back button once again. And now I want to start allocating some of the different instances. Let's go to the first serialized object. Let's click on the information icon. And here we have the structure. And so let's start with some of those objects. This particular tank, like most tanks, have two different treads on it, one on the left side and one on the right side. Let's right click on one of them. And you can see in the pop-up menu, I have two choices here for allocating objects. I can allocate a new instance, I can create the instance on the fly, or I can allocate one of those existing instances. Let's choose Allocate Existing. And in the dialog box, we have a drop down list with the various different instances that are available. And I'm going to choose from the 00A lot, the 002001 instance, and then click the OK button. And when we refresh, we can see that we now have this part instance listed for one of the treads. Let's do that again. Let, let's right click on the other one and I can allocate existing. And then from the drop down list, let's choose for this one. It will be from the 00A. Let's grab this one for the other side. Let's click the OK button. And so there we can see the new instance. Now let's go to one of the other different objects. So for example, here we have the 
projectile carousel on the left hand side I will right click on it and it doesn't have any pre-existing instances created so I can choose to allocate new and that's going to bring open a dialog box and so we have our part configuration we can specify our lot number so I will call this my one zero 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 one lot and for the serial number for this one well let's just use a bunch of zeros and a one for that one and then click the OK button and let's do a quick refresh and so there you can see that we have our lot and serial number for that one so that's the process that you are going to use let's go back to the WT part for a tank and let's say that we want to do that for one of the other different objects let's go to the information tab and this one again includes all the objects including the untraced and traced objects if I try to go to one of the untraced objects well you'll see that allocate new and allocate existing is grayed out because it is untraced but like before we can right click say on one of the treads and we can allocate existing and then we can say hey for this one this one we're going to grab this one out of the 30 B lot let's click the OK button and let's do a quick refresh and we can see the allocated instance once again we can right click and allocate existing go to the drop down list and let's grab the second serialized object from that lot click the OK button and we can see it listed inside of here and once again we can go to one of the objects like for example the right side projectile carousel and we can allocate a new instance and so the lot number for this one let's call this the 100 lot and for the serial number for this one we'll choose 99909 click the OK button and once again this is a way in which we can create the part instance and the allocation at the same time and so that's the way that you can end up tracking serialized objects for your different serialized objects. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.